We are following the latest developments in a lawsuit against the city by a number of adult bookstores that could hit taxpayers in the pocketbook. Yeah, the suit heard last week asks a federal judge to declare unconstitutional a city ordinance that regulates adult entertainment businesses. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live outside our Monument Circle studio with more on what well, the Todd, the lawsuit was filed in October of 2003, and incredibly, the case just went to court last week. Now, four Indianapolis area bookstores have asked a federal judge to declare unconstitutional the city's adult entertainment ordinance, and they've also asked the city to pay up for lost revenue. The original lawsuit was filed by the Annex Bookstore at 38th and Pendleton Pike. After more than 20 years in business, the store went to renew their license and the city denied it. The licensing division said it would conduct an investigation of the business and then several months later, the city county council passed another, far more restrictive ordinance regulating adult entertainment. Among other restrictions, the ordinance forbid private viewing booths and it limited hours of operation. In bolstering its more restrictive ordinance, the city argued that cutting hours of operation would cut crime in nearby neighborhoods. Janet Fowler has lived within a block of one adult bookstore for more than 20 years. It's just nothing but a troubled place. It draws the worst kind of people around, and there's been a lot of shootings in this neighborhood. There's been a lot of break-ins. The bookstores allege the city is trying to restrict free speech and the dissemination of protected, sexually oriented content. They also allege the ordinance allows the city to deny or suspend licenses without cause while permitting unauthorized searches of their businesses. Now the city's corporation council says their policy prohibits them from commenting on pending litigation. Uh, Sarah Judge or uh, federal judge Sarah Evans Barker heard the case in a two-day bench trial last week. She could rule any day. Todd. So Jack, if these adult bookstores prevail in their claim, do we know how much money is at stake? Well, this suit was filed nine years ago, and for just as long, these uh, bookstores were forced to cut back on their hours. One source within the administration estimates the potential payout could exceed a million dollars, Todd. All right, so we're talking a lot of cash. Jack Reinhart reporting live downtown for us. Jack, thank you.